If you're on the internet doing some research on adjustable beds, you've just hit the jackpot. Hello, my name is Lee Carter and I'm the president of Sleep Essentials. I'm going to take some time, if you'll stay with me, to teach you everything you need to know about adjustable beds. Things that are going to matter to you. Things that are, that are not going to be shown to you when you go into most mattress and furniture stores when you're looking at adjustable beds. Things to take in consideration, how you're going to use the bed, why you're buying a bed and which one's going to work for you. So please get a cup of coffee and sit down. We're going to uh, go over a lot. Now when talking about adjustable beds, the most important thing to take into consideration is not the model of the adjustable bed, but the mattress. The mattress is the most important piece that you need to know. And I'm going to save that for the end or near the end of talking about this particular bed. And then I'm going to show you several other adjustable beds. The, the reason the mattress is the most important is because there are a lot of really terrible mattresses they're showing on these adjustable beds. I'm going to show you what works. So before we get into the mattress, let's talk about adjustable beds. What I'm sitting on now is an American Adjustables adjustable bed. It's made in Tennessee, it's, a, it's a American made, and that's one of the problems, I'm, the reason I'm bringing that up is one of the problems, most adjustable beds that you go into a furniture store, uh, specifically one of these mattress retail chains, most of what they're selling is made in China. And it's a real concern for me, I believe it's better to buy American these days. So I'm really excited about this adjustable bed for numerous reasons. The first one is it's made in Tennessee. The, the drive motors and the control units, the control units what communicates with your remote control, is made in Finland. So there, we're not talking about Chinese parts. We're talking about American made frames. The frame is made in, in North Carolina uh, so, and so forth. So there's really not a lot to these as far as what goes into them. Now, having said all that, the massage motors in these adjustable beds are made in China. So I'm the only one that's going to be completely upfront and teach you everything there is to know. I want you to know more rather than less. I don't want to ooh and ah you over uh, features without telling you, you know, are those features really useful? Stuff like that. American made adjustable beds made in Tennessee and I'm excited about that. Now the other reason I'm excited about this bed is something that uh, a lot of manufacture, a lot of uh, retail stores when you go into they don't talk about. Uh, they put you in a zero gravity position, you get on it and oh wow this just feels wonderful. You don't realize a couple of things and one of the most important things is wall hugger. What this does is as you raise the head of the bed up Let's say this is the bed and this is the wall. As you raise the head of the bed up, it creates a gap. A wall hugger scoots back to compensate for the gap of the raising of the head. Now what this does for you is you can reach your nightstand. If you're going to sit up in the bed all the way up to watch TV, like I'm sitting all the way up right now, or watch TV, work on a laptop, read a book, so forth, being able to reach your nightstand is a very nice feature. Most adjustable beds are not wall huggers. Now, having said that, some companies will advertise, for, for example, Reverie is a manufacturer, very nice adjustable beds. I've sold them and I still sell them occasionally. They advertise wall snuggling. Well, when they raise the, the beds up, it only moves back three inches. So you're only three inches closer to your nightstand than you would be. Leggett and Platt is a company that I used to sell tons of. Leggett and Platt is the largest manufacturer of adjustable beds. I'm going to show you some of Leggett and Platt adjustable beds. Well, they used to make models that were what I called full wall huggers. When you raise the head of the bed up, it moved back a total of 11 inches. A full 11 inches. So you are 11 inches closer to your nightstand than you would be if you didn't have an adjustable bed. That's a big deal. Well, Leggett and Platt, because of all of the Chinese imports driving the prices down, Leggett and Platt decided they need to make their, mat their adjustable beds cheaper. They went to what they call a compressed frame. I think it means it's shorter, but it's definitely lighter and less expensive. 
Because of that, they now have what I call half a wall hugger. Instead of moving back 11 inches, it only moves back 6 inches. So it's a difference of 5 inches. You could have been 5 inches closer to your nightstand. The funny thing is, is that when they made the beds 11 inch wall huggers, they called them wall hugger beds. Now that they're only 6 inches, they still call them wall hugger beds. I call them half wall huggers because they're not as good as they could be. And you know, our customers, we find, want the wall hugger once they know what it is. Once they know, I want to be able to reach my nightstand, uh, that's what they ask for. 75% of our customers, they ask for the wall hugger. This bed by American Adjustables is the best wall hugger made today. It moves back seven inches. So it's an inch better than leg it and plat. It's not the full 11 inches as I would like, but it's still the best. And as you can see, I can reach my nightstand. Now, there's one other way in which I can meet, reach my nightstand that's important when considering a mattress. And that is, how thick is the mattress? Now, if you go into most of these mattress stores, you gotta understand that adjustable beds aren't real tall. So, and a lot of people like their beds tall. So what they're doing is, is they're putting really thick mattresses on these adjustable beds. Well, if they only raise the head up about halfway and they raise the feet up about halfway, that's quote unquote a zero gravity. By the way, zero gravity is nothing technical or specific. It's basically raise the feet, head, the feet and the head halfway up and that's zero gravity. If you just raise it up that little bit and you let people lay on the bed, they'll, they'll ooh and ah, oh gosh, this feels wonderful. So they can sell it. They don't, the consumer doesn't realize that thickness of the mattress is going to affect your sleep affect your use. The ideal thickness of a mattress on an adjustable bed is 8 or 9 inches. So if you go into a mattress store and you see a 12 or 13 or 14 or 15 inch thick mattress, two problems. The thicker the mattress is, the more distance you have behind your back when sitting up, which means that's more distance away from your, uh, your, your nightstand. It doesn't need to be that thick to work. In fact, it becomes a problem. Secondly, a thicker mattress doesn't bend as well, okay? And so then it doesn't contour, it doesn't bend at the knees properly. It buckles up in the corners a lot, you know, down here in the butt. It, it starts to buckle up the material, and so it doesn't sit as well. So these thick mattresses are not ideal. You want an eight or nine inch thick mattress to work. Secondly, if you're, if you're tall, as you can see, I'm about 6'1". My head is at the very top of this adjustable bed. If you're 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, okay, or 6'5", and you've got a really, really thick mattress, well, guess what? Your head's going to be above all this. So a thinner mattress works better in that way. Now, recently, I was at, at American Adjustables uh, a manufacturing facility where they also have a showroom and they make their own mattresses as well. I don't sell their mattresses, as you'll see. But I want you to take a look at this picture. This picture I'm getting ready to show you is a 15-inch thick mattress on an adjustable bed, and it's a inner spring type mattress. So two things, because it's thick, because it's a spring mattress, it won't bend properly. So take a look at this picture. This is a picture of my son sitting on the bed who's 240 pounds, he's a big boy, and notice the feet, the feet don't bend at the knees, it's kind of sitting up because that bed won't bend. Now I took another picture, check this one out. Uh, this one is a picture of nobody on the bed, so I just raised the head and the feet of the bed up while I was there, notice it doesn't bend at all. Uh, these are what they call uh, hybrid mattresses, they have a pocketed coil inner spring in them and those pocket coil inner springs technically will bend, but they don't bend properly. So these beds are not working well on adjustable beds. So you need to be aware of, a, uh, of looking at these adjustable beds. Your mattress needs to be thinner. So you can reach your nightstand, so it'll bend. The, most important th the second most important thing about an adjustable bed is the remote. As you can see, this has raised buttons, buttons you can actually depress and they're fairly large buttons, uh, which makes it easier to find what you're looking for. Like, so, so for example, let's say you have it raised in the 
raised position and you uh, wake, you fall asleep, you wake up, you want to go flat. Well, finally the flat button is real easy. It's right here. And if you're, you know, you're, it's completely dark in the room, you have to touch a button uh, for it to light up before the, the remote control lights up so you can see the buttons. Well, if it's a completely dark room, you can feel your way to the button. You'll memorize, you'll learn where the buttons are. And you go to the, you know it's on the right side, it's the third button down, you hit the flat button and it goes flat. You can find your way around by feeling your way around. And this is one of the great things about this particular design I really like. Now the Leggett and Platt uh, 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 remote control, it's, this is what they call capacitive touch. There's no raised buttons, it's completely flat. So if it's a completely dark room, you can't, you can't figure out where the flat button is. You can't feel your way around. Uh, I can tell you this from experience. I have one of these uh, Leg and Platt Prodigy beds, and I have to turn a light on every night when I come to bed <coughs> uh, simply to see the remote to find the memory position. So memory, memory one, I press it, and then it goes to my favorite sleeping position, then I cut the light off. Well, I wouldn't, if I had one of these remotes, if I had this bed, I would be able to find my way to the memory position. You can feel your way around. Well, the memory position is one of these small three dots, and the one in the middle is my, my first memory. I'd be able to find my way to it without having to turn a light on. Much better design. The bigger buttons also means, you know, I sell a lot of these to people that are uh, 50 and above. Well, they don't want to put on their reading glasses to, to find the button. Uh, it's, the bigger the button, the easier it is to read. Back, leg, up and down, up and down. <clears throat> Flat button, programmable positions. Those are the main ones you're going to use the most of, and you can find them real quick and easy. Now, one nice thing about this remote control also, see this one button right here at the top in the middle of, the, of these? You'd be able to find your way to that one. That's a flashlight. As you can see, when you push the button, you have a light. Nice if you need to get up and go to the bed in the middle of the night. I mean, go to the bathroom in the middle of the night. Uh, zero gravity, one you can find. That's very easy to find. Right down the middle, the second button is zero gravity. Uh, but mainly, you're going to want the flat button or your memory position when it's dark to go where you want it to go. Uh, you know, with the leg and plat capacitive touch remote, it never fails. You end up uh, looking for, you know, I mean, if I touch one of these buttons, see it lights up, right? But you have to touch a button to get it to light up so you can see it. Well, it never fails. The first button you touch is the stupid vibrator. And you wake up your spouse by accidentally touching the vibrator. That's why I have to turn the light on in the middle of the night to find the button I'm looking for. This is a poor design. The American uh, Adjustables is a fantastic design. This is a nice, heavy remote. It fits in your hand. You know, it's just like when you use a remote control for your television. Turning the volume up and the volume down or the channel up and down, you can find those buttons on your TV remote very quickly because you've got raised buttons and you've memorized where they are. With raised buttons, you memorize where they are, you can go right to them and feel it. Great design. This is the way it should be. As a matter of fact, just yesterday, we had a, a customer call us that got one of our Leggett and Platt adjustable beds. He didn't explain any of this on the phone and, uh, of course, he didn't know enough to think about this, but he said, I'm over 60 or 65, and he says, I have, uh, I have a seeing problem and I'm uh, uh, disabled. He goes, this remote control is completely useless to me. He goes, I can't see it, I can't find the buttons. And, and the other thing is, is that you know, it's very, very sensitive to touch, but at the same time, you actually can touch it three or four times before you'll get it to feel your butt, your finger. It's much better to have a button that actually depresses. Leggett Blatt makes good adjustable beds, and I'm going to show you some of their beds and some of their features, but this is a junk remote control. You know, I, and I found out, I also found out this week, why does Leggett Blatt keep making mistakes in their adjustable beds? Well, the CEO of the adjustable bed division of Leggett and Platt is, a, is an accountant. So the only thing he knows how to do is look at the numbers. So we needed to make these changes and make these changes. And they're constantly, constantly making changes in their adjustable beds. 
because he's trying to tweak, uh, uh, tweak the numbers. I guess this remote's a little bit cheaper, or maybe 50 cents cheaper than one of these. So now the, this accountant that runs Leggett and Platt Adjustable Division, he doesn't understand what works for the consumer. But I do. I sell to the consumer every day. You're, it's a good possibility you're going to hate this remote. But the American Adjustable Remote, you're going to love. Now, the fourth thing, the third or fourth thing that I like about this adjustable bed is the warranty. To give you an example, Leggett and Platt, largest manufacturer of adjustable beds. Their, their high-end, you know, uh, quality adjustable beds, they have some real, real low-priced junk to, keep, to really compete with the junk Chinese. Uh, but their good adjustable beds come with a 1-3-25 warranty. One means the first year you own it, all parts and all uh, labor, all parts and all labor for the first year covered. So anything goes wrong the first year you own the bed, covered it. Three means the next two years after the first year, all parts are still covered but not labor. So you got three years in parts, but only one year in labor. After three years, it has a 25 year, or the remaining 25 years, is prorated in the coverage of parts. American Adjustables has a 3520. Three years all parts in labor, not one. Five years total in parts, and then 20, the remaining uh, 15 years, parts are prorated. Now, occasionally I get somebody asked a question, which I think is a brilliant question, and, and it always tickles me when someone is thinking about these things. People will ask, well, what's the probability I will get parts for the bed 15 years from now, or 10 years from now, or 20 years from now? And I think it's an excellent question. What's the incentive for a manufacturer to keep making parts for a bed long after they quit making the bed? Well, I guess it depends on how many they sell. This is the problem with Leggett and Platt. Leggett and Platt makes new models every year. With this new CEO of Leggett and Platt Adjustable Bed Division, they've made uh, adjustable beds for six months and then they quit making it, a design. We've gone through Prodigy, Prodigy uh, 2.0, Prodigy 2.0 Plus, Prodigy Comfort Elite, then we've gone through Escape, New Escape, Escape 2.0, Escape 2.0 Plus, Escape 2.0 uh, foundation style. Six months later, they get rid of the foundation style, they get rid of the plus. Now they're just down to Escape 2.0. They're constantly changing stuff. Now, it, it's conceivable the more different models they come with, the shorter life is of getting parts for it. American Adjustables has been making this same basic model, same frame, same model, uh, motors, same control modules, same uh, uh, remote controls for the last seven, eight years is what they tell me. So you want to buy an adjustable bed from a company that changes it every six months to a year or a company that's not changed it? You know, it's the old saying, why break it if it's not, if it's not, why fix it if it's not broken? Uh, when you're when an accountant is running the company, they think everything's broken if they can't get an extra couple thousand dollars uh, profit out of the company. You know, so they're constantly changing something. So I'm telling you about the best adjustable bed made, in my opinion, the American adjustable beds. Now, specifically, this model is the G94. The G94 has full leg and head adjustability. Three programmable positions. Now this is nice. You're probably only going to use two, but you have three. You program in number one, your, your favorite sleeping position. Number two, your favorite watching TV position. Maybe a third one for a different sleeping position, but you've got three. You program them in, you can feel your way right to the remote, find your program that you want, the, the, the position you want, hit the button, it goes into that position. Leg and Platt typically only has two uh, programmable positions in their remote. This has massage, which means, you know, a lot of times you say the adjustable has massage, people think it massages you, it vibrates. Nine out of ten of our customers don't care for vibration. But it would be nice if you have circulation issues with your legs to have the legs vibrate can be very, very nice.
it has three intensity levels and one of the things I really like about it is it has a power button you can just cut it right back off uh, leg and plat adjustable beds have a toggle you toggle up in intensity if you want to cut it off you got to toggle down in intensity until you cut it off I think that's a bad design a lot of these other companies are making these what I call uh, things you don't you'll never use gives the adjustable bed curb appeal when you're in the furniture store looking at them the sales will say well it's got USB ports where you can plug in your devices well most people if they have a device they're using already have a charger on their nightstand you're you're gonna find you're not going to use those things and typically they're tucked under way underneath the the side of it where you can't reach it anyway uh, not real fr user friendly sounds good for sales uh, you know a uh, point of sale probably won't use it the other thing they make uh, is an underbed light well a flashlight in the remote but most people who know they got to get up in the middle of the night to go to the restroom already have a night light or have a way to see their way around keep in mind if you were using a leg and plat with the uh, glass top remote you first got to find where find you got to turn a light on to find the button you need to turn the underbed light on. That's not going to work. Uh, kind of kind of silly. The underbed lights is silly. Our customers want user friendly remote controls, a simple bed. They know they're getting quality. They know they're getting a good warranty. This is what American Adjustable Beds gives you. Now I've already mentioned the mattress. I mentioned the thickness of the mattress. Now I want to talk to you talk to you about the quality of the mattress. Most mattresses you buy today are made of polyurethane foam or if they're hybrid it's a spring unit and it's typically a pocketed coil inner spring with memory foam on top. Uh, they'll feel real good when you go into the showroom and when you try them out but the problem with all polyurethane foam is that polyurethane foam softens substantially with use and the more someone weighs the quicker they soften it. So I hear of people having memory foam mattresses 10 years, no problem. If they're real small, it typically isn't a problem. I've been selling uh, mattresses for 18 years. I used to sell a lot of memory foam mattresses. I quit selling them because they don't last. I've had people who buy them who are really big and heavy, and they wear it out in one year. Now, why does that matter to you? Well again the more you weigh the quicker you soften memory foam well if you set the head of the bed up and you concentrate your weight in the butt position you're going to soften that memory foam quicker right there so when you flatten the bed out and go to sleep you're going to have a, a, a divot so to speak in this memory foam in this polyurethane foam mattresses you know most of your pillow top mattresses that's all cheap polyurethane foam your Tempur-Pedic it's 100% pure plastic foam. Now the most durable cushioning material that's made is latex. It's the sap of a rubber tree. Now when I started the business I used to sell memory foam. When I delivered mattresses to my customers home and hauled off their used mattresses occasionally I run across somebody who had a latex mattress. In every case these mattresses were not five or ten years old or some of these online mattresses, by the way, won't last you a year. These latex mattresses were 30, 40, and sometimes 50 years old. And they still were perfectly flat. They had no soft spots in them. So what I did was I stopped selling memory foam and I started selling latex. But I had to learn the hard way. The way latex is made today is not the same as it was made 40 years ago. So I now produce my own all latex mattresses. That's what I'm on right here. I have a, a, a latex mattress. I sit up in the, not all the way up, but halfway up and sleep at night. And I have not created a divot in my bed. Latex is the only mattress you should have, as far as I'm concerned, simply because of its durability. But the second reason, if you're going to use an adjustable bed, it's more durable for sitting on. The third reason is, as you can see, my legs are bent at the knees. The rubber mattresses contour to the adjustable bed flawlessly. None of this like I showed you, my son sitting on the bed and the, and the mattress is still sticking up. I mean, I can get off this bed. It's not going to straighten up like the one you saw in the picture. 
those spring mattresses will technically bend, but they don't bend well. This bends perfectly. The third reason you want a latex mattress, they're easy to turn over in. Memory foam envelops you, holds you. If you want to turn over, you got to pick yourself up, up, up out of the mold and form a new mold. Latex is instant recovery foam, so it's easier to turn over in. Works phenomenally well for adjustable beds. Uh, as you, if you had a memory foam and you're sitting on it, you're going to create a huge divot, which takes longer to recover if you want to go flat and turn over on your side. Latex is instant recovery. All right, a couple more odds and ends about the American Adjustable Adjustable Bed. The American Adjustables comes with a, a set of legs. They got to understand these things sit on the floor not on your furniture. So if you have a headboard, footboard, and side rails, this is not going to go on your furniture. If you've got slats in the middle of your bed, you're going to take all that out and this is going to sit on the floor in the middle of that, in the middle of your side rails and, and headboard, footboard. Now it comes with two sets of legs or two height legs, a four inch section and a two inch section. You can use the four inch, you can use the two inch, or you can use both. If you use the 4 inch and the 2 inch, the top of the adjustable bed from the floor is 15 inches. So if you put one of my 9 inch mattresses on top of the 15 inches, you're now to 24. 24 is not very high. A lot of people like their beds a little taller. You can get as an accessory another 4 inches to get it up to 28. 28 is pretty acceptable for most people. Secondly, you can control this bed with an app on your, on your uh, cell phone. Most of our customers don't care for the apps, but you may be someone who uses your phone a lot in bed. You can control the, you control the American Adjustables adjustable bed with an app on your phone. It's an accessory that you add. Well, as you can tell, American Adjustables is by far my favorite, but it's missing a couple features you may want. Okay, this is the Leggett and Platt Escape 2.0. The Escape by Leggett and Platt's been around as long as I've been in business. It used to be one bed that they made forever and ever. Then they went to a slightly different model. Mainly, the main change was the remote control. It was very similar to this one uh, that had raised buttons. Since then, they've gone through several different versions. All of them now have a, a uh, capacitive touch or glass top remote, as I've spoken about. Uh, but other than that, Leggett and Platt Escape 2.0 is still a very good bed for the buck. Because you get half a wall hugger. Uh, the only drawback to the bed, is, in my opinion, is, of course, the remote control. Uh, for the money, it's still a, a fantastic bed. Two programmable uh, positions in this. You have a zero gravity button. Uh, you have one button that flattens it out. You have massage with wave, so it vibrates down here and then it moves back and uh, forth. You can turn on the wave if you want that. Uh, very, very nice bed. Now, one of the things about Leg and Platt that's been a major improvement in the last couple of years has been adjustable height legs. You know, when I talked about the uh, American adjustable beds, you can stack the legs and get s somewhat different heights. Well, this one comes with legs that are adjustable and it will adjust from the top of the adjustable bed to the floor from as high as 18 inches down to 13 inches. So then, then the, of course the height of your bed is going to be determined on how thick your mattress is. Now of course I'm going to tell you you need one of our latex mattresses which are 9 inches thick your 9 inch mattresses on top of 18, you're up to, what's that, 27? So 27 inches off the floor and they're droppable in half inch increments. So very, very good improvement on all leg and plat bags, beds is the adjustable height legs. Uh, you can actually fine tune that right where you want it. But anyway, this is the Leggett and Platt Escape 2.0. Again, it's got the same 1325 warranty. It's a good warranty for the industry. It's just not as good as the American Adjustables. But of course, this is a less expensive bed than the American Adjustables. Uh, now, check the date on this video that you're watching because even though they're using glass top remote controls, 
Uh, I feel real certain that Legant Platt's going to change that and go to a raised button remote control. I think there's been a lot of complaints and you may see that change. So if you're watching this video, look at the date on it. If it's got any age on it, call us and ask, have they changed the remote controls on the adjustable beds? I'll be more than happy to help you with that. Our phone numbers are at the top of the website. All right, now let me show you the Legant Platt Prodigy 2.0. It's an upgrade over the Escape, uh, a few extra uh, bells and whistles. This is the Legant Platt Prodigy 2.0. The 2.0, as the name implies, the second generation uh, Prodigy. Uh, they've gone through several different Prodigies. There was a Prodigy 2.0 Plus. Uh, now they have a Prodigy Comfort Elite, which I will cover next. But the Prodigy 2.0 is this is the bed that I sleep on every night. Uh, I don't use a lot of the features, so it doesn't really matter. The main reason why I got the Prodigy for myself was to learn about the bed when it first came out, learn about how it works, how uh, how the app works on the phone, uh, how the app on the phone works for the bed and so forth. Uh, the one thing that does distinguish this from the Escape that I just went over is this has pillow tilt. So what that means is, as you can see, the head of the bed is kind of tilting forward. Now that's supposed to give you your head tilt forward. One of the problems with the adjustable beds, I think, is if you're very tall, Look, it might, it's, a little, it's still below my head. Uh, if this were a thicker mattress, it would be an even bigger problem. So uh, the pillow tilt can be nice, but most people are not going to find that they're going to use it that much. Uh, the idea was, though, you didn't have to keep a pillow behind your head. You just tilted it forward, and you could watch TV in front of you or read. doesn't work that great. Uh, lots of special features. You're going to pay a lot more for this. Now this bed has an elaborate massage, uh, uh, two programmable positions, you know, uh, and chances are you're only going to use two. Uh, massage feature, wave feature. Now if you operate this bed on the app on your phone, it gives it more programmable positions, a more elaborate uh, massage, and it gives you a wake timer and a sleep timer, which is some features that I seriously doubt you'll use. But it does allow you to set a time to the bed to vibrate or to move to a certain position when you want to wake up in the morning at a certain time. Crazy stuff. Again, most of my customers don't care for all the gadgets and gadgets. They just want to be more comfortable when they sit up in bed and watch TV, read, or when they sleep. This is the Prodigy Legant Platt Prodigy Comfort Elite. Now the only difference between the Prodigy Comfort Elite and the Prodigy 2.0 is the Comfort Elite has lumbar, which means it's a, it raises up here in the lumbar area, giving you some lumbar support. Uh, I like this feature. The reason is I'm one of those people that loves lumbar in my vehicle. I turn it all the way up. I like that curve. So that's something you got to determine whether or not you like uh, the lumbar support in your bed. Um, as, as you would in your car. Uh, the remote control is capacitive touch. As you know by now, I'm not crazy about capacitive touch. Uh, I like raised buttons. But this, you can control an app on your phone. You've got complete head and, and foot uh, controls. Adjustability. Pillow tilt, just like the Prodigy 2.0. Again, the only difference is, uh, is the lumbar. You have app control, you have under bed lighting, you have USB ports. Really, this is one, the reason it's called Comfort Elite, it's one of the most elaborate adjustable beds. It is a wall hugger, at least that's what Leggett Platt calls it. I call it a half wall hugger. It moves back six inches, not uh, 11 like a full wall hugger sh would or should. Very elaborate massage features, which means it vibrates. Adjustable height legs, of course, just like all leg and plat models today, and you have the uh, micro hook system, which means you don't have to use the retainer bar at the end of the bed like that. Now, one of the drawbacks to one small, tiny drawback to the micro hook is it's it's a it's a micro velcro type substance, 
When the bed moves, you will hear some sound like Velcro being pulled apart. It's very, very low key, but it is there. So if you're really concerned about noises in your bedroom, maybe you shouldn't want the micro hook. You don't have to use it. When the bed comes, the micro hook system has a fabric over it. If you want to use it, you pull the fabric off and then you use the micro hook. So you can use it either way. It's just that if you don't use the micro hook, you're going to need the retainer bar. So I would uh, be a little cautious in teaching, telling you that it could make a little noise at night when you move it when the Velcro is stretching with the fabric underneath the mattress. Comfort Elite really is Comfort Elite with the lumbar. I like the lumbar. A lot of people like the lumbar. As I lift it up here, a little hard to see in the camera, but you can definitely feel it in the bed. Slightly adjust myself there. Oh yeah, pillow tilt. Wonderful bed. This is the Rise Aviata adjustable bed. Now, Rise adjustable beds are completely different than all other adjustable beds. This bed has a lounge feature. As you can see, I'm going to push the lounge button on this, and what's going to happen is I'm in a normal, uh, I'm in a normal head up, feet up. But when you hit lounge, notice the feet drop, almost like you're in a lounge chair. Now there are some people that would like that, but my legs being dropped feels like it's pulling on my lower back. I don't find this comfortable, but some people may. Now sit up a little bit, it does help. Some people may like the lounge feature. I mean, if you have a TV that's lower in the bedroom, you can see a little better. You don't want the legs up. This is the only bed that does this, uh, is the Rise adjustable beds. This particular one is the Aviata. Nice remote control. You do have raised buttons. Um, and everything else is the same. Now, there's one other thing about this bed that's really, really odd. I'm going to show you that now. I'm going to lower the head. And what's sitting up, now I'm going to go not only flat. Well, you have a flat button. Now, let me go to flat first. This thing go back to flat. Um, and as you can see, when I push the flat button, it's going to bring the legs back to flat as well. Yeah, now I'm in flat. Now watch this. I'm going to take the head down. Now this goes below parallel. Good luck telling me what this is for. I don't know, I can't imagine somebody liking blood running to their head. Uh, and in fact, the feet will do that as well. I'm sorry, the legs. Let me drop the legs. So you can drop the legs, drop the head. Now you're curved the other way. Would somebody please tell me what that's for? <laughs> so anyway, I. I can't for the life of me understand why somebody would want that. I do understand dropping the legs in the lounge position, but I don't know what the purpose of dropping the head is. Maybe it gives you a good stretch in the morning. I don't know. Um, but anyway, it's kind of funny. What makes the Aviata unique is the way it looks. It's meant to stand by itself in the bedroom, not inside a headboard, footboard, and side rails. The legs on this thing are very decorative looking, as you can see here. And the, the feet light up. You've got several different colors. The button in, on the back is what sets the lights on the legs. Now, I do kind of like this. If you need to get up in the middle of the night and go to the, go to the uh, restroom, you can find the button on the back of the adjustable bed and cut it on, and it illuminates the floor. Uh, albeit, it will illuminate the floor in one of your colors. Uh, you just keep clicking the button to get different colors until you cut it off. Uh, you know, let's say you, you cut it on, it lights up red, you go to the bathroom, you come back, you got to keep clicking it to go through all the colors, cut it off. I think that's a little silly. Um, has a massage, so it does massage and it does wave. And it kind of pulsates. Again, 9 out of 10 of my customers don't care for massage. There's the... Uh, Rise Aviata adjustable bed if you want something that's very modern looking and obviously modern functioning 
this might be the bed for you. Well, I hope this adjustable bed video has been helpful to you. Thank you for taking the time to watch it. Uh, we have three physical locations, one in Richmond, Virginia, one in Roanoke, Virginia, one in Raleigh, North Carolina. We have a toll-free number, 855-502-8453. Uh, if you're not already on my website, go to sleepessentials.com. You can order these beds there and mattresses and pillows and sheets and so forth. Uh, we very much would appreciate your business. Uh, our, our goal is better sleep, healthier sleep, money well spent sleep. Thank you for watching.